Okay, what we have here, we got a regulator with integrated brushes, and this is for a car alternator. The brushes are these things here, what I'm pointing to. They're, they're, the, they're the brushes. Now, if these are too short, then what happens is uh, there's not enough length, and it doesn't make uh, contact with the uh, with the slip rings. So you got to make sure that they're of uh, sufficient length. And yeah, so if they're too short, then it doesn't make contact with the slip rings, which doesn't help with uh, charging. Yeah, so then your alternator doesn't charge. Uh, so yeah, that's one of the things to look out for when your alternator is not charging. The other things as well that could that could happen, but uh, for that that could be the reason why an alternator doesn't charge. For example, your regulator could be stuffed or something like that, or 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 your slip rings are stuffed or too worn out. But the first thing to check and the easiest thing to check are the length of these brushes. Now, if you find that the length of these brushes are a bit too short, there's two things you can do. You just get yourself another. One option is to get yourself another re regulator with which which will have new brushes in them, or if if you got if you got the skills, you could get yourself some buy some new brushes, and then uh, solder them in yourself. So you you get rid of the old ones, and then you solder in the new ones. Uh, yeah, but oh yeah, and you usually find the these these regulators on the back of an alternator. Uh, yeah. However, on some alternators, the regulator is separate to the brushes and or separate to the unit. But usually, on a lot of cars which I've seen, they're usually integrated, and they they usually are the regulator and the brushes are usually integrated with uh, each other. That's it for today.